Owls are incredibly awesome birds, but they can be sometimes really hard to find and very elusive. Thankfully, you can often hear them calling. So we're gonna go through some of the common Eastern owl vocalizations. These aren't all of them, just some of the more common ones with some tips on how to remember them. So let's start off with one of the most common ones that I hear, which is the great horned owl. They make kind of just your normal hoo, 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 back and forth. I often hear great horned owls doing this in the winter when they're pairing up, but sometimes if you're just out at night, you might hear one in your backyard. I find this to be one of the most common owl vocalizations that you might hear. They're also a very large owl and they're very widespread. So if you see a silhouette with two large ear tufts, that's probably a great horned owl. Additionally, a pair will sometimes duet back and forth. So one will make the hooting noise and then you'll hear another one from a distance. So if you hear one, listen for another one nearby. Next up, we have the barred owl, which is another fairly large species of owl. And they make the classic, who cooks for you? vocalization. So that's kind of the mnemonic people use to remember that. And I feel like they normally hang out in thicker forests. I don't hear them as much as the great horn, but they're still fairly common. And in addition to the who cooks for you vocalization, they can also make some sounds that almost sound uh, like primates back and forth. So some pretty wild noises in the barred owl repertoire. <laughs> Next up, we have the Eastern Screech Owl. And sometimes you can find Eastern Screech Owls during the day because they will be poking their head out of a nest cavity or a nest roost where they've been hanging out. They'll also sometimes use nest boxes. So they'll come out to sun and oftentimes right before night when they go out, they will just stick their face out. So sometimes you can actually see them. But if you're listening for them, they make a whinny and a trill. So the whinny kind of sounds like a horse almost. And then the trill is kind of a rapid repeating noise. And sometimes they'll just make one or the other. And I've actually heard them make the trill during the day. So keep an ear out for that as well. Next up, we have the adorable saw wet owl, and they make a repeating two, 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 two. This is very rapid, and they're a very tiny, very adorable species of owl. They're, they can be very hard to find unless you happen to see one roosting, but uh, their vocalization is super notable, so if you hear that, you can definitely pick them out and know that they're in the area. Next up, we have the barn owl, which can be pretty scarce in certain areas, but if they are around, they make some pretty terrifying screaming noises. And I think this was actually the reason there were a lot of cases of paranormal activity back in the day was people seeing barn owls because they have a very interesting look, especially the young almost look very alien, but they make these crazy haunting noises. So this is the sound of the barn owl. The long-eared owl makes a series of who vocalizations that are spaced out and pretty low. So it's kind of just like who, who, who. Long-eared owls will often be in groups as well. So they're one of the owl species where you can see a lot of them together.
Next up is the short-eared owl, and they can often be seen flying over fields and open areas as it's about to get dark. So they will hang out with northern harriers, other birds that kind of soar, and keep an eye out for that flatter face in a soaring owl, and they will make these raspy barking kind of noises. So generally this is probably an owl that you'll be searching for and hear it barking, but sometimes if they're migrating through an area like uh, on Lake Michigan or something, you will just kind of hear the barking as they're migrating through. In addition to the barking, they may also make a series of low hoots. The snowy owl I rarely hear vocalize, but they make kind of these gruff crow noises. It's a very raspy barking sound. Additionally, I want to mention that young owls will make noises similar to barn owls. So sometimes people think they have a barn owl in their yard, but it's actually just a juvenile great horned or barred owl. So these kind of sound like those screaming noises the barn owl will make, but less shrieky. And that's actually young owls. And one final thing I want to add is the morning dove vocalization because a lot of people actually think that that's an owl, but it's not. So the morning dove is a very common bird and makes an iconic cooing sound. So those are some common owl vocalizations that you might hear. In addition to these, there's some more rare owls that might show up, such as great gray owl, boreal owl, and northern hawk owl. Normally they live further north, but some will come down and hang out in the east as well. So if you don't hear your owl on this list, maybe check that out. And make sure to check out our other videos on bird songs and calls. If you enjoyed this one, please make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Mm -hmm.